my god. And my dishwasher's on. That was like so stupid. Should we try again? Oh Lord my God, when I an awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands hath made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And how great it is, yes. Um, oh my gosh, it's like, maybe that is my favorite hymn, I'm not sure. It's the one I catch myself singing all over the house all the time. Because I'll stop and be thankful for so many things, then I think how great thou art. Okay, so hey guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy, and I think Sarah, you were the one that asked to hear that hymn after I sang a hymn last week. So I hope you enjoyed that. I left my blooper in. I started the hymn, realized the dishwasher was on, and I was like, what the heck? Come on, you guys, this is how it works. So, I don't really retake. I pretty much start that camera and go. So what you see is what you get. All right, let's dive in. Today is Totally Easy Tuesday. If you are here for the very first time, I just realized like my camera, <laughs> this is where my camera was from filming, which by the way, I gotta talk about. If you're here for the very first time, welcome. I do four uploads every week. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. Every craft I do is, everything come, comes from the Dollar Tree, and why? Because of the Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar, people, a dollar. Let's dive in. I want to tell you a few things. First of all, Man uh, Madeline, congratulations. She won last week. She told me to pick which craft to send her. Then I talked to her a little bit more, and I'm sending her the camera. So now I'm going to be on that for another camera. Or not. I don't really need any more decorations in my house. It's fine. So I'm super happy for you, Madeline. Everybody give Madeline an applause right now and an emoji. Because, or camera, because she's taking the camera. Let's see, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a contest every Tuesday, uh, every week, and all you have to do is watch Totally Easy Tuesday Theme Thursday, and be a subscriber, make a comment, and give a thumbs up, and you are entered into the contest to win one of the crafts that I've made that week. So make sure you do that. And if you're not subscribed yet, just try it. Come on, just try it. Speaking of subscribers, I got my very first, pretty much my very first nasty comment this week, and I knew it was coming. I mean, it's always, there's always haters out there, because the haters gonna hate, 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 and the shaker's gonna shake, 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 shake it off, shake it off, and do you know what she doesn't like? My singing, that I just break into song. So, I gave her a very nice response, I think it was Pam, shout out to Pam, and um, I was like, hey, just don't watch channel then. there's so many options. And in case you guys wonder why I sing, because you have to do something different or you're never going to make it on YouTube. And because I can sing, why not? Might as well give you... And I think you guys are liking giving me little requests. Then I sing your song. All right, so let's move on. I got to talk about things. Teresa, I am doing that basket for the pets this week. Um, uh, and Oh, and Teresa, thank you very much. Because Teresa wrote me a really supportive comment back after Pam left. The, was it Pam? I think it was Pam. See? I don't even care what your name is. That's how much that hurt, didn't? Um, anyway, so Teresa, but thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, you guys, I need to ask you if you would like me to do nautical bees or patriotic next week. So um, I said I was going to do bees, but I've got a lot of you giving me different feedback. So you've got to let me know if you want bees, nautical, or patriotic. Or tell me the order that you would like them in. The bees is probably going to be a whole week. It'll probably be totally easy Tuesday and Thursday. Lemons is just going to be one day and Thursday. All right. Before we get started in showing the crafts that I made today, I'm going to do a craft on camera, which I've done before, but I haven't done it in a while. So um, let's see. Who asked me about the uh, Yvette? 
You said when I talked about the googly eyes that it made you think of the song, um, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Anyway, but since today's Totally Easy Tuesday, one of the things I'm going to try and remember to do is to throw up a, a DIY on camera with you guys and show you really quickly. All right. So I happen to be going to a five-year-old's birthday party this weekend. So I'm going to make a gift for him and we're going to do it right here. So this is just a furry pillow. They're not very big. I'm going to guess they're about eight by eight, possibly. I should have measured. Sorry. doesn't matter. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. And this is just like that, that furry, like monster fur. Reminds me of Monsters, Inc. kind of furish. Okay. So they also sell googly eyes at the Dollar Tree. Well, this is, it says googly eyes. Not Google eyes, the like googly eyes. All right, so I'm gonna pair, put a pair of googly eyes on this monster, hold on. And I'm gonna put yellow eyes, okay? I've got a pair of googly eyes. So this is what I wanna show you guys, this is so simple. You wanna, in this kind of stuff, you wanna put your finger in and sort of rub down to where you get to the bottom of this fur. It's like finding the scalp on your pet, it really is. Now, all I'm going to do, I've sort of found that scalp. Can you see that? Sort of found the scalp. So now I've got one googly eye. My glue gun is right here on. Let's just do a little dab. A little dab will do you. Anybody? Old commercial thing there. And then I'm going to go right back to that spot where I found the scalp. I'm going to stick that eyeball on. There's one. Okay. Now I'm going to go next to it kind of close. All right. Not too far away. And I'm going to do the, I'm just going to repeat. So I'm going to stick my finger in there and find that scalp of this fur. And I'm going to take the next eyeball. And. And dab some glue on it. Put it on. Oh, come on, go in there. And there we have it. We now have a monster pillow. Come on, that's pretty cute. Now there's all kinds of things. This is so easy, you guys. So easy, so cute. And you could put a little tag with it. You can make a nice little personalized tag that says this is your monster protect pillow. Just squeeze them really hard when there's monsters in the room. Or like, I'm monstrously, I'm monstrously in love with you. You bring the monster out in me. Could be like a cute little to your mate thing. All kinds of ideas, but so cute. Look how easy, all right? Okay, let's dive in. Let's talk about crafts that I did this week. Hope you guys like the monster pillow. If you like the monster pillow, give me a pillow or a monster right now. Or just tell me in your in your things. All right. I did what I called the bigger the better this week for Totally Easy Tuesday. So I've made some rather substantial pieces all out of items from the Dollar Tree. All out of items that I didn't have to paint. I just did a little upscale with products that you buy at the Dollar Tree. This was so simple and I have so many so let's go. Are we ready? By the way, wait, before we do that, shout out. This was my Mother's Day present from my daughter, Emma. This is Emma on here. Emma's hoping to get discovered. And um, it's hysterical. It's, I call her my M&M, and so this is my M&M shirt. It's the funniest Mother's Day gift ever. I love it. I'm like, it's, by the way, it's super soft too. She got it online somewhere. If I knew, I shared a link down below. I should ask her. You know, like, okay, let's move forward. This is um, my elephant planter. I've used a canvas just to pick it up and show you because there's so many pieces to it. Can you see? I've glued on the video, you'll see. But these are the planters that they sell. I think they have like a fox, an elephant. They have quite a few different animals. I don't remember what they all are now. But I found six elephants. I have six grandchildren. So I've put six elephants on here. And then I just did a little to attach them all together put rope around these clay pots and you'll see. But what I wanna say is you could do something like this and you don't have to use the fake succulents. I did, cause I'll probably put it inside, but you could put actual plants in here. Now I know I give away all my crafts every week, but please don't, please don't snag this one. Cause this one really is personal for me representing my six grandchildren because I love elephants. All right. Not that I'm gonna put any rules on anybody, but I think you're all super, um, nice enough that you wouldn't take a craft that I said I really wanted to keep. So there's three this week. Two. Three? Two. No, there's only two. There's only two. So that's one of them. Actually, I'll just go to the next one right now so you guys don't wonder. All the crafts are behind me because there's so many um, and they're big. All right, so this is the one I also do not want anybody to take this week because I'm planning on giving it to 
um, a five-year-old uh, boy for his birthday this week to hang baseball hats on. How cute is this? Like literally, how cute is this? One, two, three, four, five dollars to make. They still have these at the Dollar Tree. You'll see on the video, I outlined them with the furniture marker, which just pops those, makes it so cool. I did not lay them all flat. I sort of, you know, put them on three-dimensional. The hooks aren't even all straight, which I think makes it very much more um, childlike. And I think this is so adorable. Please don't ask for this one. Well, even if you ask for it, you're not gonna get it because I'm giving it away to a birthday party. So this one's not available to take this week. And I'm not sure I could just run out and find all of these right now. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, I love this, super easy. What I do wanna say though, is you'll notice I used hot glue and the, and the super glue easy from the Dollar Tree. Yes, and I let it dry overnight and it is very sturdy now, very sturdy. So I think that just came out so cute. I hope he loves it. Um, and I might personalize it for him on one of the things. I didn't right now. Okay, where to next? I'm not in any specific order, you guys. This is the other ceramic that I did this week. And it is, when I hauled it, I said I was gonna do this. So again, I use that E, what not E6000, that's what everybody else uses. I use the stuff from Dollar Tree, the Fix All Super Glue, it comes in a tube. Works very well, let this dry overnight also. And then I took it outside and I put solar lights in the back of it. The solar lights pop in here. I added a picture on the video so you can see it outside at night. It looks like ghost faces actually when it's lit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's really cool looking and it's pretty substantial. And just by gluing what they already give us there at the Dollar Tree together, that's pretty much what all of these crafts today are. And there's 11 of them. I'm just gonna go with the next one right next to me. This is my big coffee cup that I put a plant in. This is one of the trash cans. One, the S hooks for outside, a six inch wreath. I'm not sure which size, I'm sorry you guys, because I'd already taken it out of the package. And then obviously I just put some greenery in here. You could put an actual plant. You could fill it up with coffee pods. I'm gonna tell you the one thing I would change is I put, but first coffee here, I would actually put it down here so I could get it straighter. But when I make a mistake in a craft, I'm gonna tell you so you know. And then after I filmed, this popped off. And so I took the faux, can you see the faux leather ribbon and just wrapped it there to keep that handle on. Obviously it's just decorative, right? But, and, and then I used the coconut husk planter stuff on the inside of this. So. But really what the, what the craft is, is the large coffee pot. And you don't even have to put this on there. I mean, there's so many things. You could wrap twine, you know, so many things. You could give it a stripe so that it looks like, you know, it's a striped mug, lots of things. But it's super cute, nice big piece. Okay, where to next? Um, I mean, there was three I'd rather you guys don't. Please don't ask for this one either because it's a table runner actually for my table. So I'd have to remake it. I'd really like to keep this one. I, actually, I show a picture of it on my table. All right, so these are the placemats, right? I just removed the tassels off one, and then I put the faux ribbon. I did the black and the silver. Look at how cool that is, and this is substantial. This is a nice, heavy table runner, by the way. My table is wood, so this is kind of nice. And it was one, two, three, four of them, and the faux leather ribbon, pretty simple. At first in the video I show you, I tried just to tie the the um, thing, the tassels together, but that just didn't work, it was too bulky. So in the end I just cut off and put this on there. So I love this table runner, it's going right back on my table. So that's three things I'd rather you don't ask for. Don't ask for the elephants, the table runner, or the, or the kids uh, coat rack thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, like when I actually have a personal use for it, I will tell you. Okay, where to next? This one is so cute. So they've had these welcome signs out for a while, the gold welcome signs, and they always have the cactus um, jewelry hangers. You'll see in the video, I just take them apart and I put this all together. This looks really pretty. You can't see it very well, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm hitting another crack. But I mean, up against the wall, it's gonna look really cute or hanging on a colorful door. But I wanna point out, I ended up going back and like putting plops of glue on here. So it looked like sort of some dimension on the, on the cactus and I used my gold glass marker to cover over the glue bits. It worked very well. I love this so simple. And I could stick this in the center of a wreath like this. I'm not, I'm keeping it very simple. I think it looks sort of boho-ish Western cactus. I'm not sure if that's even a thing. I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay, where to next? Um, this is a very modern piece. Not my style, but I'm sure it's somebody's style. 
And this is just where I took four canvases and obviously I repeated one canvas, but you notice I changed the direction of it and made a much larger, I just spit. There's that. Made a much larger canvas out of it. I probably, I must be dying of thirst. I'm not sure. Uh, and I like it, but it, it's not my style. So I will either give it away or if one of you guys wants it or I'll donate it or something. But, um, but it, you could do this with so many of their canvas choices there. And I wanted to show you too. I did not reinforce the back of this because on the canvas, hot glue holds really well. But I did use one of the holders that I removed. I put it in the center so for hanging purposes. So easy. And this is so much bigger. $4 for a canvas this size, because I think it's, I don't know what size it is. But it's big, I can hide behind it. That's cheap, that's so cheap, and it took glue gun. Glue gun and four canvases. All right, um, this might be really, literally one of my favorite pieces. So easy. Okay, I lost a little bit of footage on this. By the way, you guys, I tried filming differently this week and the camera's above me, which is why this came in because I just finished filming. So you see my head way too much. So I'm gonna have to switch it up. I can't do it that way, ignore my head. I wake up at like, I don't know, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, get him off to work and then I start crafting. So I usually just throw my hair up in a clip. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look good, but well, who cares? You guys don't care, you're just watching the crafting. But this, I lost some footage, so I just want to explain a little bit. What I did was to get it to stay in this shape where I've got the three wheels and then the album, I mean the photo one, and I bound it with twine, but then I burned the twine so it got pretty dark, okay? This does light up. Um, I added the lights onto that. And this was lost in the footage also. I did two back to back. They're the black dots out of the checkers, wood checkers game, which I buy for the wood pieces in it. But you could tie that on there, you could twine it on there, and it's just the word family, which I did not talk about initially. And this is a sign that I took off of, um, I don't know, one of the little framed art pieces. So you guys, in the picture you'll see, this looks really cool on a wall. So amazing. Four, okay, four, five, six dollars. Six dollars. And then the pictures, you know, obviously you're gonna hang pictures all over it. It's so cool. And if, if I end up keeping this, cause you guys don't want it, I will actually put pictures like all over it. So I would go up, you know, up into here and put pictures. It would just, yeah, super cool piece. I love this. I hope you guys like it too. Now I gotta put it back down. All right, let's see. Um, I talked about doing this when I purchased them, so I did. I so love this piece. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So it's so three canvases. I don't know if there's any more. I only ever found three. They all match. They all have some iridescent in the gold in the flowers, right? Made it this elongated piece, added some floral top and bottom. And then I took my gold um, glass marker and just did some highlight highlighting on the flowers just to tie it in even more using the white faux leather to separate, to put in between. I think it looks so good. One of the reasons, I just wanna explain, one of the reasons that I put that in between is there's a slight difference in color canvas between these two and this one. So this one is more white. So I thought breaking it up with something in between would make it less obvious as you're looking at it. And I think that did work. But I think this piece is so beautiful and it's large. This is a large substantial, one of my favorite words. Large substantial, <laughs> my phone's ringing, let's shut that off. It's a substantial piece, um, and it's, you know, you're talking one, two, three dollars for the canvas. You don't have to use the faux leather ribbon. You don't even have to add the florals on there, but even if you add it in, the cost of the ribbon would be another dollar, now we're at four, and I use two different bunches of, um, not the whole, not the whole bunch either of floral, but from two different ones. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. It'd still be $6. This is, that's cheap for this, $6. And easy, you guys. Time-wise, so easy. It takes nothing to make it. All right, so then there's this piece, which I had said a while ago I was gonna make. And, um, and so I finally did. This is another very large, substantial piece. I left it very simple. You could do so much more to this. You could stain them. I didn't even didn't even stain the sides like I normally do. I just left it. I liked it. 
because I thought it just looked very natural, almost um, almost beachy coastal with just the wood that has nothing to it. But here's what I want to say. After I did it, I used the glue that glues overnight, but then I, I added... I added some popsicle sticks braces in the back, which I think really helped. I just used glue gun, glue stick, glue, hot glue to attach them. And then on the sides, I used the hangers to, to ha hammer in the rope. And there you go. Now these aren't all straight. When I hung it, I did it with the, making the love be the word that was, that was level. Um, that's what I based tying my knot, knot on, but you could do it so many ways. I think this is a really cool piece though. Very cool, very fun, very, you know. And I like the way I wrote the words too. Hello, smile, love, happy family. It's almost a sentence. Hello, smile, love, happy family. Um, yeah, okay. So there's that. And then the final piece, which I said I was gonna do this week. I just saw these last week. I'm in love. This is probably what everybody's gonna want. This is so simple though. Nobody should ever want this from me because it's so simple to make. I literally put them together with popsicle sticks. I literally took just nautical rope, made a knot, and the reason I did that was to hide the little holes that come from where the hanging piece was. And I did not add anything else, but I want you to notice the pattern that I put these in, I followed the, the embellishments on there so that they were sort of in a line. And I, I just thought that was visually more attractive. And then on the top, I use the hanger that they have and I bring it through and I use it as a way to secure this rope on there so that I'm hanging it with the decorative. Don't you love this? Ma, oh, I love it. Okay, is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yep, that was all of them. That was a lot. Sorry guys, this goes on a long time, but I'd like to explain to you how I do these things before you watch the videos. And the videos are so short because I speed them up for you. Okay, enjoy the video, everybody. Have a great day, great week, a great life. Let me know which one of these is your absolute favorite. And also don't forget to vote. Do we want bees, nautical, or patriotic next week? Okay guys, thank you so much. And I'm gonna fix the filming. Don't worry, it won't be any more big head in there. Okay, bye, enjoy. take these placemats and make a runner out of them for the full length of the table but as you can see they have tassels on each end and so putting them together I mean you can't just place them together like that so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is undo all of the tassels on these I'll leave both ends I would leave t um, tasseled but I'm gonna undo the tassels but I just want to show you the tassels it's actually part of the fabric. So I'm thinking that maybe perhaps I can untie the tassels and then tie these together or trim them off and glue them and put a strip of the faux leather black rhythm. Ribbon, not rhythm. So first I'm just gonna undo the tassels on two of these and see how they would go together. All right, so <clears throat> I untied all this. And then here I tied them together, so it made one. The problem is this is just too bulky to use as a table runner. So instead, it's gonna be a lot quicker. I'm just gonna cut these here, and then I'm gonna use either black faux leather or the, the gray, it's sort of a silver faux leather, um, to put them together, so let's do that.
one. We're using one of these, it says a basket. It's like a wire mesh trash can. A metal garden hook. There was two in here. I've already used one. Then one of the small wreaths. I don't remember what inch these are. I'm gonna remove the butt first coffee off of this sign and use some of the really tall faux, um, they just call them greenery, I think, artificial fern is what they call them, even though they're not all ferns. So I'm gonna make a rather large faux coffee cup. I'm gonna glue this down to that. I'm gonna put this on as a handle like this. I'm gonna glue the sign on here, but first coffee, and I'm gonna put some greenery in. Super simple, super easy. The one thing I wanna point out is that this technically really isn't black, this is more like a dark green, but I don't think it matters. I'm gonna glue it on there. I don't think it's obvious at all, and I think it's totally fine. And this project's gonna take all of about probably 10 minutes and be super substantial and cool. Let's go. Super easy one and it's gonna be a really cool wall hanging so these they have right now the bicycle wheel wreath ring and also these which are just the it's a photo holder anyway I'm gonna take and make these a substantial wall hanging and I'm also gonna add some of the LED clip string lights but these are the ones that have the little paper clips for putting um, for you know, it's a lit string to put pictures on. So let's go.
one is so simple. I have four canvases here, um, and they all sort of go together with their color scheme. And all I'm gonna do is take them all out of their plastic, remove the hanger, and I'm gonna make it one large canvas just by gluing them together. And the only thing I've figured out is how I'm gonna hang it. Um, I can use the two, leave the two hangers on the tops of these two, and then it would just um, would hang off two nails. I don't know, I haven't really decided that yet, so I'll have to think about it. Anyway, uh, so let's just, I'm trying to think how I like it better. Yep, I'm gonna get going on this. So this is one of the signs that says welcome. These are available in the Dollar Tree now. They came out mm, a few months ago. They're still there. These, they have there all the time, but look, they match. I live in Arizona, so this is really a craft that's probably only I'm gonna like. Um, but these come off really easy. These are like little jewelry stands. Notice there's hooks, but I'm gonna use those hooks to help me place the cactus. And this is so simple. I'm literally just making a metal sign that says welcome with some Arizona vibe to it. I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna use these hooks to help me place my, whoops, my cactus, all right? And then when I get these three cool little things that you know I'm gonna make something with, the leftover bits and pieces, so. I'll hold on to those. And then this, which I think just looks really, I think it's gonna look really cool. Basically, just like that. Now I gotta glue it all together. And it's just a very cool, uh, simple welcome sign.
Okay, this is one that I've had for a little bit. These are all the wood words they sell. Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna make a substantial wall hanging using these. And I will probably put a, um, a wire, I mean, a, a rope hanger on it when I'm all done, but I'm not for sure yet. So basically what I'm gonna do is lay these out in a certain fashion. And then sort of glue them all together. Well, anyway, something like that. And, and we're going to make a cool sign to hang on the wall. Let's go. So the best way to attach these and make sure that they're they're um, gonna attach like level is I've put it on this square moving the the ruler and with hello it only touches it at the of the e so those are gonna be my attachment points then I'm gonna do the same thing to the top of smile I'm gonna go. I'm first going to do the bottom of the smile. So I'm putting it on there, and it's the bottom of the S, the L, and the E, okay? But now I want that level. So I'm going to use something else to put. That's not long enough. Ah! So putting that on that sign so I know that that's, the level part and then, or the part that, all right, so here we go. So doing this, when I square it up, the only place that it touches is the top of the L. So <clears throat> that means when I go here for smile, technically it can only touch there. So let's, let's go. also very simple and really cool. I have these three canvases that all go together. And so I'm going to put them together. I'm going to use the white leather, faux leather. Although I just wanted to point out, you could use this as well. Um, and I am deciding to do the, um, the white, but it just depends on like where you were going to hang it. Just FYI. And you don't have to put anything in between them. I'm, I think I'm going to. And then also, um, I'm going to use some florals up on the top where I hang it. Either that or on the bottom. I might put them both. I might put them on the top and on the bottom. I don't know until I get there. <laughs> All right. So, let's go.
Okay, this is, I got these, I don't know, um, maybe two months ago. Um, they're still there at the Dollar Tree, and they're just these single hangers with a hook, but this is really for a child's room, I think, or um, maybe like a preschool or something like that. So all I'm gonna do is take one of these wood pieces, I call the two by fours that aren't, <laughs> I don't know there, and um, I'm gonna take a black furniture marker, I'm gonna outline each one of these with black furniture marker. I'm gonna remove the hangers here, and then I'm going to attach them all onto this piece of wood and make just a fun um, coat rack for kids. And all using their Dollar Tree items. I mean, one, two, three, four, the cost is gonna be $5. How simple is that? So this is gonna be one of those ones though where I'm probably gonna need to go get some tower blocks to um, to put between the wood and the ones on top. So I'm not doing it like this. I'm actually gonna overlap them. I didn't get those, I'll go get those. All right, and also I'm gonna be using my overnight Dollar Tree glue, the super glue adhesive, uh, the fix all adhesive so that it bonds really well, as well as my uh, glue gun. Let's go. So for this one, I have these three. They're, um, they're actually wax warmers. Put a tea light in there and you warm the wax. But I'm gonna make them an outside decoration by putting them, gluing them all together and making a tower. And I'm gonna do that using the um, super glue fix-all. And I'll use hot glue to have it hold it first. This is gonna be really simple. Let's go. Um, sort of beachy signs, summer sand shores, and this, this one and the green one. I'm just gonna make them one big sign. I'm gonna use some nautical rope for accenting. And, um, and I think maybe that's all I'm gonna do. I could add some seashells and stuff, but I really like what they have on here already, and I think it's really cute. And I'll take all the strings out and we'll like put a new, um, 
hanger on it using nautical rope on the top. This is super easy, so let's go. So <clears throat> this project is using six of these. They're the animal planters, and I have six elephants. I've already taken them out. Two clay pots, and they come wrapped in plastic. They just say clay pots on them. I have seven succulents, and they're the ones that are in the little styrofoam because I want the styrofoam for in here. Um, some more of my plant liner, the cactus... Um, husk and one roll of decorative nautical and we're basically making a planter so I'm gonna use the fake succulents but you could certainly do this and put real plants I'm gonna wrap the I'm gonna glue these two together wrap them in twine and I'm gonna glue the little heinies of the elephants to that and throw the cactus in it's gonna be a really cool um, planter like centerpiece kind of reminds me of that friendship Thing that made out of pottery. Not sure that makes any sense. Anyway, so let's get going. This is super easy. <laughs> <laughs> 